it was it froze um, oh okay you good we can hear you um so i just want to say a couple things and i'll hop down i'm not, i'm gonna be kind of quick um my here's my thing i agree with what bina said in the video i understand that you all may feel like that's the majority that's cool that's your opinion my main it, my main thing was last night just watching the live last night um you know you said you know you're not here to put anybody down um you know just to inform or educate but it didn't come off that way last night there was a lot of things that were said that came off as putting somebody down the speaking on how they're dry or dusty their cat is a I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly what you said, but speaking on uh, the woman's cat and um, saying you kind of did exactly what you exactly <laughs> so what you said in the it. video uh, when you said you know women use their relationship to put other women down or other friends or other women, and it was a lot of um, well, I'm Tom Brady. I got two rings when y'all can't even get one. Um, I, I, my husband has this, that, and a third. I, I make X amount of money and this, that, and a third. And it's just like, okay, my thing was, well, isn't that what she was just speaking about in the video? So it just contradicted itself for me. Would you almost like you prove your own point from the, from the video in the live last night? Because it was just like, mm. and I, and I, and again, like I get people were coming at you. Um, but again, like like y'all like to tell everybody else, if it don't apply, let it fly. If that's not your life, then then you're happy, right? You just said you don't need anybody to give you your flowers. So just be happy. So when people are saying things, let them speak. But then it's almost like people don't really listen to what's being said or education is, doesn't happen because it's like a bait. Everybody always takes the bait. And then now the name calling and now the... I'm putting myself on a pedestal just to show you when these women, if they're miserable, let them be miserable. And like you said again last night, which I kind of find contradicting to what you said today, you know, oh, I want to I want our sisters to listen. And, and maybe, you know, some women may find this enlightening, you know, being enlightened by what I'm saying. But last night you said, well, if they want to be um, if they if they don't want these good men, then let them stay out the way. Let let them stay out the way and leave and leave the good ones for us. So it's like where exactly where exactly do you stand with that? Because it's like, how are we gonna save people? But then as soon as we hear something we don't like, then we or they're attacking us, or of course we understand and especially when we know why they're attacking, we go for the bait and then now here we are putting ourselves on that on a pedestal. When we just said we're not doing that, when we just said we don't need to be put on a pedestal, we don't need our flowers because my happiness is my flowers. So I understand what you're saying. Um, yesterday, the live had 300 plus people in it. It's kind of hard to keep your emotions in check. And that's a woman problem. Um, I've, I've seen some men have that same issue, too. So that's a woman problem. It's hard to keep your emotions in check when you have 200 people in the comments coming for you. Now, I will say that what I did say is standard when all my po on all the videos that I do and all the comment the comments that I make about different topics that noble host, I always say the same thing. Like I do want what's best for the community. However, you know, that's, that's the main issue right there. This topic, this forum, this is where you get the most people who are going to come and attack you. They're not coming to attack you if you, and that's the problem. If I get on here and that's what I was trying to address with the other lady, if we get on here giving people their flowers nobody's going to be better. If we get on here being nice and telling them how they're doing great and how they break mothers and all that, that's all they're going to hear and they're going to take it and run with it. But when, the moment you give them some truth, that, that, that cuts deep. That hurts their soul. And I don't understand why, because at the end of the day, you have people out here who are trying to lead you to a better lifestyle. You know, you want to complain about how these men are terrible, how these men are this, but y'all are choosing these men. You want to talk about how there's so many deadbeat daddies, but we control if a baby's going to be born or not. There's so many different uh, avenues where we're in control and we give it up, but then you want to be in control in situations where you don't need to be in control. And that's where the dynamic and the power struggle starts in our community. At the end of the day, if you want to be better, if you want to be happy, 
then stop living in your feelings all the time. And that's what it is. It's true. Like you, you maybe did I address the situations last night? Wrong. Well, yes, most definitely. I'm a woman, and I will tell you that I would definitely understand and say that I addressed the situation wrong. But that is y'all stuff to to harm you. I'm not telling you to date the nine to five dudes so they can mistreat you and beat on you. I'm telling you to date the nine to five dudes so you can find happiness in your lifetime. While you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for these men that barely exist to show up, why don't you why don't you be with someone that's available in your lifetime? You know? And it wasn't to put my put my relationship to put them down, but you're literally sitting in the comments talking bad to me and ugly to me, but I have somebody. Who argues with somebody? You, 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 if you don't have nobody and you're telling me in the comments, they're saying dudes ain't shit and this, that, and the other, and I got a man, maybe you should listen to me because I did something right. I ain't alone like you, so you should be listening. You shouldn't be arguing. That's just like a person without a job arguing with a person with a job. Maybe you should try to figure out how I got this job so you can get one too. But that's and, not the and, mindset of a lot of our people. A lot of our people is if they hear anything that goes against whatever's going to make them happy, which is what the post is about, anything that's going to go against what's going to make them happy, what's going to make them, you know, uh, uh, d- be able to be unaccountable for their actions or whatever, they don't want to have to deal with that. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to be a part of it. They don't want nothing to do. Nope. And then you're the enemy. I, as a black woman in this community, I'm the enemy because I want you to be happy. But let me let me pander to you. Let me tell you, yeah, girl, go have a hot girl summer and shake your booty all over the world mm-hmm. and sleep with 5,000 different men. I'm your friend then. I'm your best friend. They'd be in here with the hand so, clap emojis and praise so the Lord. Right. But, so but don't, but, but that, but that's the thing. And that's, that's really sad. Like I understand where you look at it as a, as a sister to another sister that it does look bad, but mm-hmm. imagine how bad it looks that if I'm up here quoting Megan, the stallion lyrics and telling all these women how they doing a great job, then that, that looks a lot worse because like I said before, I have children. I have a right. little girl that's and- growing up. I hear you and I and I agree, but I, I agree with some things. This is what I don't agree with. This is what really uh, I think the big the toxicity comes in. I feel like a lot of advice and, and correction and um, and help, quote unquote, help is given is being given without it being asked for. Some people are OK with twerking and, and doing the Megan lyrics. That's fine. I just hate how. In the black community, everything is always so um, grouped together. We're not a monolith. So, yeah, we're going to have some great, amazing women who certain, oh, a lot of men may feel like our wives and then go marry them, find them and marry them. Same for the women. Find those good men and marry them. But also, if you want to have these the, the people that want to that want to listen to Megan Thee Stallion and twerk, let them do that. I don't see everything is like about a community when I honestly and truly feel like as the black community, we're never going to get to a point where we're kumbaya together because we're humans. There's white people unalive other white people, Asian people unalive other Asian people. The only reason why black people unalive black people because you want you unalive who's near you. So it's like it's really is to me. I just feel like it's it's kind of like nobody's asking for it. So I feel like there really is no point in trying to drive it home and beating a dead uh, beating a dead horse about it because if they don't want it and if they say that they're happy and a lot of people say well then y'all be like no you're not you're miserable you don't like that and it's like maybe some some may do some may some people like that they're single some people like the fact that they're that they're alone you know they have their solitude and their peace alone let them have it I just feel like and I'm gonna keep it a book the only really reason why a lot of these topics are are popular right now because it does evoke emotion. People can get whatever, project whatever hurt they had. Somebody that did to them on both sides, men and women, get on the platforms and evoke the hurt or, or project and, and say whatever. And it gets the clicks up. It gets the views up. And, and that's people love drama. People love no matter who says that they want to uh, they want to help in Kumbaya with the community. That's a lie. That's not true. Everybody loves drama. Everybody loves the mess. That's why the shade room got all the followers that it has. That's why gossip before internet, you had tabloids and all that stuff. So I really feel like just let people do them and find your, find your community, find your community within the community. And if like, 
uh, like uh, the song said, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. If people don't want to be saved from that lifestyle or, or if you feel like they need to be saved, some people don't feel like they need to be saved from it. So let them I have a couple out. questions. I have a couple questions. How did you find this live right now, Ivory? How did I find it? Because mm-hmm. I follow Noble. Okay. And at the top right hand side of your screen, is there a little X in the corner? Of course. So if you're a happy person, right? And I'm in here speaking things that are negative. If you're a happy person, you're living the life that you want to be. And I'm in here saying the things I'm saying and it's triggering you and it's making you upset. Is you staying or is you leaving? And on it, just one answer. Is no, you staying honestly, or is you leaving? Honestly, as a human, pe- as a human, or well, somebody, I'm gonna keep it a book. I like the mess. I like drama. Sometimes, you know, it's entertaining to watch. So I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep it real with you. No, because you when, people, when people Hold say on. things, but I know. But you said entertaining to watch. But are you going to be actively cursing and yelling and art and 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 being oh, derogatory no. in the con? Okay, then I that's mean, I'm the joking. point. What ninety nine percent of the thinking- time, if I'm in the comments. So- true so that is the point you just said if they're happy living the life they are 99 percent of any person on the planet if you are happy and i'm in here saying things that do not align with you why are you even responding if this does not bother you uh-huh. if this is who you are hold on if this is who you are happy to be look at it this way if you go to a kkk rally and say all y'all are a bunch of racists you think they're gonna start getting mad and crying don't call me that they're gonna be like all right <laughs> but at I'm the just same, be honest, because the they're happy, that they're happy though. with their who they are, and so they're gonna look at you like if you, you know, they're gonna look at you like, um, I mean, really, what does that, what does that do? But the difference is, you want to say that these women here are happy. You're not happy if you're so triggered. You're not happy if you're so angry that you gotta be degrading to another human being whose mindset doesn't align with yours, because that means that there's like, like I keep saying, a hit dog a holler. That means that right. something I said hit you somewhere and upset you so bad that you have to attack me in a negative space just the same way I said yesterday when they were all coming at me that got to me so 100 300 people in here calling me all types of names at some point you can only deal with so much but it's the the same thing I'm talking in general I have I never say noble do you can back me up do I say anybody's name do I call anybody out from nope I never do that I speak in very general terms and yet everyone's angry so you know what that means they're not happy because if I go into a live and a man's up there talking about prostitutes and hoes, I will definitely not be in the comments talking about, don't talk about us like that. that- <laughs> Why? Because I'm not a prostitute or <laughs> But hoe. at the I same no time, to complain. but at the same time, it's language, it's language that's being used as well. So to say, if you're just up there speaking on like, oh, you know, these women will do this, that, and the third, but we are giving statistics and saying it's 95% of women. So there's a huge nine out of 10 chance that you're saying, you're pretty much saying it's a nine out of 10 chance. If you're in this life, you're that woman. And, and, but, and that, and with that same statistic, if there's a nine out of 10 chance, if you're in this live and you are that woman, you will only respond if it aligns with you. It's like I said at the beginning of the live, if this has nothing, to do with you like this is this is the thing ivory this post is about women who don't date nine to five men people who are date are what what's the word it starts with an s hmm? what is the word for people that date it starts with an s that date single right yeah, oh, yeah. If you're dating that means you're single right that means you're not married right so why be in the comments hey, i'm married i've been with my husband 35 years who then we are not talking to you that's what i'm talking about that's the unhappiness creeping out of your soul to attack me because what I'm saying is hitting you because that means that you aren't happy. That means you aren't married. That means you aren't all of those things that you're saying about yourself because if not, you would not be even, he- you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be in the chat complaining. You wouldn't. You would not care. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Like I said, I'm not going to go to a pimp and hoe live and be in the comments talking about, don't talk about us hoes. We got health care. Why? I'm not a hoe. And I don't know if they got health care. It's not my business because I'm not in that lane. That's what I'm saying. If you're so happy. But at the same or time. Or even if I was a, hold on one second. Even if I was a hoe and I was happy with my lifestyle, there's no reason for me to argue with you on my point. Because like you said, I'm happy with my lifestyle. And and at the end of the day, why come into a platform where you know we're trying to teach? Because anybody who's ever been on Noble's platform, he's trying to teach you something. He's trying to open your mind and let you see world the world from a different point of view than you already have. 
So if you know that that's this po the point of this and you are happy and you don't feel like you need to make changes, why be in a classroom if you already know the answer? I don't get it. What are you here for? And then on top of that, you're not even here to add to the conversation. You're here to be negative, degrading, and hateful and say slurs in the comments to the people in the boxes that are just come here to help you. And then if you feel like you don't need help, why be here? I just don't, millionaires don't go to welfare offices because they don't need the money. They already got it. It's the same thing. If you got a good life, if you're happy, if you're doing a great, you know, you got a man and you got kids, we are not talking to you then. So why be, that's what I'm saying. So even with statistics, but, okay. even then I'm not going to feel no type of way because you're not talking to me and I'm happy. I'm going to leave. I'm gonna be like, oh, this conversation isn't for me. All right. Now I I guess to that, I can say, then why even speak on it, period? Like, why speak on single people's issues if you're happily married? Because there are people who want to hear, and there are people who want to change, like I told the last young lady. There there are them, people out there. Just let look at them the come, comment. Let them come to you. Let them it, let, let your marriage be, um, you know, people that see your marriage and, oh, I want that. And if their mindset, if their mindset is right, let them come to you and ask you, hey, how did you get that husband? Yeah, that's my main thing. Nobody is asking for the for the advice. And, and at the same time, yeah, people can leave the live or whatever. Or people can press the X button or would it unfollow, what have you. But at the same time, if we're having a discussion, nobody likes an echo chamber. So if we're, we're having a discussion, let's have a discussion and allow different point of views. And I, at the same, also, it's like it comes off wrong because... Like I said, last night it was, and I know you, you did say that you, you know, your response or response was wrong, but at the same time it came off like, okay, now if this woman was really genuine and I heard her speak like that, I'm going to say, never mind. Like, and, and it's not just you being, a, it's a lot of women who do that. Like, it'll be, oh, I want to help the community, but then turn around and, and put themselves on a pedestal or be like, you know you you women are miserable and it's like even if they are so what like and I agree with what you said last night when you said when you said let them be like let them get out the way I wholeheartedly agree with that because let them get out the way let them do them like why I don't see why it really matters because but, we're not, but that's the thing though which are, again we're going back to the same thing though we noble noble do you share this live when you go live or you just go live and people come in I just go live and people come in. I don't share my lives so at then, all. So then I re I'm still not getting your comment because if we're going live and people are coming in and they don't want to hear what has to be said, you, you like you said, let them come to us. They are coming to us. So you're proving but my they're point not even more. To they, they are. because they They're are, not, they're they not being this. productive. Clearly, on, if Ivory, they're coming Ivory, after a look, they're Hold clearly on, not coming Ivory. to be productive. I understand that. But we did not ask them to come, sweetheart. That's my point. You're saying wait for them to come to you. They are. When you when I came into this live, I knew what the topic was. It's behind his head. So if it does not align with me and I don't feel like this is going to change my life, there is no reason for me to be here. But you want to be here and can be combative and go back and forth. And then now you're telling me, and this is what you just said out your own mouth, instead of coming on here and having this conversation, let them come to you. They did come to me. I didn't call nobody. I haven't invited but, not one person to this live. And yet they sit in the comments. They at you. They respond to you. I did not send for anybody. So then I am letting them come to me. And they obviously are hurt. And that's why they're responding the same way. You're, you're but basically also, saying what we are proving in these lives. Like I said, there was 300 people in the live and no one invited yeah, them. Well, not none of us. Because of course not, because people, the things that people, the things that the people, well, not you, not you, but it was, um, I forget the two, probably two other dudes that was up there. They were saying things. And like I said, there's a lot of hot words that get hot takes and, and words, trigger words or, or whatever you want to call it, things that get said that causes an uproar. And I think people have to remember, again, this is TikTok, not the United Nations. So regardless of what it's it's an app so what really what person is really like okay i'm going to get on this live where there's a clearly a topic that is a that is really click no shade to you noble but it's really a click click baked topic that that is known to stir up arguments what person is going to go then into that room and say i really want to get help i really want to go into this room and, and get all some the women education that went on kevin samuel's platform and ended up with husbands 
all the women that go on. What's that dude's name that just got, man, I don't even watch him. What was his name? Adam or something. All the women that email them and tell them, thank you for giving your advice. All the women that's ever been on Oprah's show when Oprah was live and listened to her talk and was like, thank you. And this, that, and the other. That, that's why they created these platforms like that. That's the whole point, sweetheart. That well, they, this is how you get the this is how you get the message out, and the people that are that the people that have the need and the desire to learn and do better, they're going to gravitate toward that. Yes, you're going to get a lot of the naysayers, but you can't do anything about that because at the end of the day, even an even a, a broken clock is right twice a day. So eventually, the naysayers are going to hear some stuff and they're going to add that game to their life and they're going to do better. Just because we may not see it initially doesn't mean it's not happening. But that see, I, I don't know how what what, what life style you live so i'm not talking to you i'm talking about me i believe i have a purpose i believe i have a voice right. in this world and my voice is meant to help and uplift others so just if i'm speaking and you don't want to hear me you can leave but i'm not going to go out and gravitate and, and pick people out in the street and be like hey you need help hey you need help and i'm not going to sit around and wait for people Why to come not? to me and need help when you see that there are people that need help just because you and your opinion don't feel like people are positively affected by the conversations that are being had here doesn't mean that there aren't i've been in i can name all types of content creators where they get they come on here and say all types of things and they people in the comments praising them thank you for doing this and noble's comments thank you for doing this we really appreciate it are we really well, these are common conversations that aren't had enough so many I don't thousands of I don't even mean to cut you off, Miss Amina, but I don't even speak on what happens off of this platform because I, I don't need, like, I'm not trying to give validation from anyone, and it's not anybody's business but me and whoever that I'm communicating with, whoever I'm dealing with at the end of the day. But um, uh, at least I can speak for myself. This is definitely um, helping people, and people enjoy what I do over here. But, yeah, go ahead. It's entertainment. It's very entertaining, and, and to say – that, um, you know, people don't want to have to, you know, I'm sorry, uh, my alarm went off, but people, my thing is also another thing. People say that, you know, the mindset, I understand it's the mindset, but then we say all women, a lot of women think like this, it's the majority, but then pull up one tweet from one woman or pull up a <laughs> social media post that went viral and then say, oh, cause you women, y'all, you know, it's, it's the majority. It's 99.9% oh of y'all that think like this when literally one person made the tweet. <laughs> and it's like, huh? And, and and then when you have women in the comments have telling you, you it's not when the majority video? of the women are telling you in the comments that it's not, then it's like, okay, nobody listens. And then it's, oh, y'all capping, y'all capping, y'all, y'all lying. <laughs> and then it's like, then what's the point? Like, what's the point of even saying anything? I'm not. I'll listen. I'm here to moderate tonight. I can go back and forth, my guys. I'm not going back and forth with John tonight. I'm just here to moderate. Okay. I can respond to that, but I ain't gonna respond to it. But go ahead. Go ahead. Like I said, I enjoy the content. It's very entertaining. Some, you know, it is very entertaining, but it isn't productive. So if if we're gonna say we're having, we're gonna if have it helps one person is there's no solutions. And like you said, you're not going in the street and pulling people aside saying, hey, do you need help? Why not? Because I feel like, you know. Wait a minute, but that sounds like a contradiction have... on your part right now. Because a minute ago you said you shouldn't go to people unless they ask you for help. And now you're telling me to go in the street and ask other people if they need help. That's no, a contradiction. That, that's, that's, the that's what that's you said at difference. first, though. No, the difference is asking them if they need help before you go and then you just spewing out the but help, But I don't right? call, but, but that's when you my ask point, though. Help, when don't somebody call give, when you here. ask consent, when you give somebody consent, say, hey, can I help you? Do you need some help? And they can say no and you can go about your business. That's, that's different. I didn't say that. I said, let them come to you and ask for help instead of coming with the help that wasn't asked for. But they come in here because we don't invite them. Do you, do Kroger call you and ask you, do you need groceries? No, you go into the store when you need groceries. If you see the door open, I don't call anybody in here. Noble doesn't call anybody here. When I go, yeah, my everybody platform, comes in I here for the it, main reason why for out of is your entertainment. Opinion, but no, that's your opinion. But behind the scenes, you have no idea. I, even from my post. You okay? So if you scroll down no Noble's live, if y'all don't know, two other of my videos where I've spoken on have gone like I guess I wouldn't say viral, but they have over twenty thousand views. People send me follow requests on the regular behind those. 
And I, when sometimes I follow you back, sometimes I don't. It just depends if you look weird or not, like if you look like you're trolling. And I follow you back. And I get all the time, you know what? I, it's good. Thank you, sister, for coming out and saying, men, thank you, sister, for coming out and saying the things that we need to be have had in these conversations. I've had those people, those experiences. So you're, for you to say that, that people are only here for entertainment, obviously they're not. Because they wouldn't thank you for coming on here and saying the things you're saying if it's just entertainment. Nobody calls WB. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not WB anymore. No one calls Fox and says, thank you for the shows you produce every year. No one says that. You know, you just enjoy it and you move on with your life. So if someone's reaching out to tell you thank you, if someone's re reaching out to say, hey, you know, the content that you're saying, things you're doing, the things that you're saying, the, the, the way you're trying to reach out to our sisters and our brothers, we really appreciate that. If they're saying that, then that means it is touching people. Just because it's not touching you, you can't speak for other people. Right, but but so that's what I'm saying. Just I understand you find that, this, but again, like, giggles, like you told but other the last don't. lady, like you told the last lady, majority rules. So majority of the people up here is for up here for entertainment. I probably I can really be sure about that. And you I have the minority that. of the few little of the few. I'm not gonna say little. The few women who who reach out and say thank you because the one person now it's if one person is helped. But I thought majority rule. Yeah, so majority, majority rules, which majority means rules, when we're having it's... the topics, the topics is skewered toward the majority. And the majority of people that are going to show up are going to be the ones that align with it. And they're going to lie and say they're happy and that they got good lives. And I'm single with six kids by five baby daddies. And I'm so excited about life. And you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm going to find a man, even though I'm almost 80 and I ain't never found one. But I'm going to find him before I die. Those women are going to be in here. But those that was the point that you started with. That if they're happy, they're ha they're not happy because if you're happy and you're living that great life with all your drama and everything, why are you even here to tell me how happy you are? I never go on anybody's platform and go, "Oh my God, I'm so happy." I don't have to. I I really don't. I mean, like, it's no it's reason. a now. It's hold a response. On, last no, it's not a response because they're in the comments saying, shut up. You don't know me. F you. You don't know me. No one. You don't respond that way unless you feel hurt. I'm not in the comments telling people, F you. You don't know me. I'm happy. I Yeah, I got four kids by five baby daddies, but you can't tell me I won't find a man. <laughs> that doesn't sound like happiness to me. That sounds like I'm bitter and I'm angry and I, I really do want this information. I'm just trying to mask it from my friends in the comments and make a scene, you know, save face. And, and don't get me wrong. That's your opinion that they're not here for that. But what other reason would you want to be in these lives last four or five hours and these people last the whole four or five hours you right. four or five hours to tell people how happy you are you sound miserable that's what you sound you sound lonely so for you to say that majority of the people when i say we skewer our conversations toward the majority this topic is toward the majority of women when I'm speaking about this topic, I'm speaking to the majority. I'm not speaking to the women who do date nine to five dudes who work at Exxon and, and live good lives. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the majority of women who don't want those type of men. And when I'm and the women that show up, majority of them are the women that we're talking about. They just are trying to save face, but they know they're sad. Because if you're not sad, why would you be here? Because it's not entertainment if you're angry. That's what you're not what the part you're missing. These comments don't be happy. F you be, who are you? That's why you're fat. This, that, and the other. Where's your man? That's don't sound like happiness. Does that not. Like if you heard somebody troll, talking a troll like, is a troll. No, no. 300 people last night and at least 200 of them were saying that. That's not 200 trolls. That's 200 people that are hurt, sweetheart. So you can't say that majority of the people in here are just here for entertainment because if you're entertained, you're laughing. You're like, man, y'all are crazy. And I'm going to, and this is funny. And ha, ha, ha. Not, hey, you're fat and you're stupid and I don't know why you're speaking. And this, that, and that. Like that's anger. And anger means sadness. And anger means you got a bad life and you don't know why. And the things I'm saying are affecting you and are triggering you because you understand that you have certain responsibility to take for the actions you played and where your life is. And you're just not ready. You're Just because you're not ready to hear what I'm saying doesn't mean you don't need to hear it. So that's why I'm saying well, that you can make that opinion right. that it's it, these people in here don't want to be here. But if they didn't want to be here, then why are they here? 
Facts. no one's holding a gun and if they right. were happy and if they were loving life and they were here for entertainment they wouldn't be so angry because all you got to do right. is scroll up a few comments sweetheart and you'll see there's anger in here and i haven't said not one bad thing to anybody i haven't called nobody's name and if they feel like anything i've said has affected them that's their personal feeling because they're hurt and they're triggered and it has nothing to do with me and my right. message so I am doing all the things you said. I am out here speaking to people. I'm out here trying to uplift. I'm out here trying to help. And if they wanted the help, they'd come and they do. So I'm doing everything you're saying I'm doing and you're still somehow telling me I'm doing it wrong. And yet everything I'm doing is right. No, I'm not. Well, that again, that's my opinion. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. And that's your opinion or your perspective of these people that they're miserable. They hate their lives. Um, and that they need this help. What I, my whole main thing, my like whole main that. thing, my whole main thing is let people do them. Like that, that's me. That's my whole main thing. Like let people rock out if they, if they want to, if they want to be single and, and listen to Megan Thee Stallion. And, and another thing is too, people say like you, you guys will say certain things and say, oh, she's twerking and listening to Megan Thee Stallion. And she, and she, you kind of make certain connections to where it, it really doesn't. Like that has no correlation just because somebody listens to Megan Thee Stallion or twerk. That doesn't mean that they're single and unhappy um, just because um, some woman may dress a certain way. Doesn't mean that they are 304s or may, you know, have a certain or prostitutes or what have you. If they have, you know, some let them rock out like it's somebody for everybody is what I'm saying. So but we're not talking to anybody and, individually in here. So that's why I'm saying, again, we're not telling them that they can't live this way. We're telling them that if you choose to live that way and your outcome is not feasible for your life, be mad at no one but yourself. That's all we're saying. We are never, I'm not, this platform has never told anybody that they can't twerk, listen to Megan Thee Stallion, have hot girl summers, walk, you can run the streets naked for all I care. I don't care. I'm not telling you don't do that. What we're saying is, Ivory, and I think that's the part you keep missing, is if you're going to live that life and make those decisions, we don't want to hear no soapbox complaints from you about how niggas ain't shit, how Thank hard you. it is to be a single mama, Thank how, you. how de there ain't nothing but deadbeat niggas in the world, how Thank you. men choosing all of the women with BBLs over me and all of a sudden we you. don't want to hear that because you made that decision. And that is what these topics are about, about women who do not take accountability. And that's where I guess the disconnect okay. for you is you're thinking that we're talking to women and telling them not to live that life. No, we're saying that life comes with consequences. And if those okay. consequences make you feel hurt where you got to talk trash in the comments, then that seems like something you should work on. And we're giving you the tools on how to make better decisions moving forward. Whether okay. you choose to listen or not is up to you. Right. Now I have a question. What does accountability look like? to y'all like what what exactly do y'all want women to say or do that then you can say like to say that they took accountability okay let me let me let me answer that question oh, first uh, Miss Sabina. so what accountability looks like to me on this platform like i always say you don't have to come in here i'm not talking to ivory i'm just saying in general you don't have to come in here and be negative like i've never left a negative comment on anyone's video I've never been on anyone else's platform talking negatively. Like, I tell y'all this, like, Miss Sabina said this, but I tell y'all this all the time. You can always click the X button in the upper right-hand corner, or there's a billion-plus people on TikTok. So it's probably a million-plus people always live. So you can always just swipe up and keep going on to the next person. But, for again, something has to be triggering you to, like, want to, like, say negative things and then be in somebody be on somebody else's platform for hours upon end just being combative and argumentative the, all the whole time like something is going on so accountability for me from on my platform would be just leaving if you don't want to be a part of the constructive productive conversation or just acknowledging the wrongs that you did and then when you acknowledge the wrongs that you did then we can talk about solutions but when we try to have these conversations the wrongs don't want to get acknowledged. It's it's all about justification for the wrongs that were done. So right. ac what accountability is, is taking a, is ex ex acknowledging the wrongs, and now we can say, hey, this is how we're going to move forward. 
But if we don't acknowledge the wrongs, we can't talk about we can't talk about solutions. Right. Well, so for me, accountability. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. So for me, accountability is this. You know, at the end of the day, is it your decision to live a certain lifestyle? Yes. Is it your decision to be happy with your lifestyle? Yes. This is where the problem comes in. Do not put me. When you knowingly know that the decisions that you've made in your life aren't good decisions and you still purposely promote your lifestyle to make other women think that that's the way that you should live your life, that is the part of the accountability I need women to take. Stop doing that. Stop promoting your lifestyle and say, I'm saying that, yeah, you should be like this too, girl. Yeah, because I, I kept my kids away from their daddy whenever he wasn't. Women do that. And just as much as you're saying that we're out here giving advice that nobody wants, women sit there and tell women, other women, how they cheated their baby daddies and how they cheated on this dude. They do that, offer that unsolicited advice. And somebody listens and then they move on it. Don't do that. You can live your life however, but if you, especially once you're knowledgeable enough to know that the decisions you made were negative, do not promote your lifestyle like it's okay for other women. Be humble enough to say, you know what, you're right. I didn't make the best decisions by having three do, three kids by three, four different men and not being married and, 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 and doing all of this and doing all of that. I should have made better choices. And now that I know better, I'm going to do better. That is the accountability I want for our sisters, but we don't get that. I get a lot of women who are talking about, you can't tell me about my life and it works for me and blah, 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 blah. And you're right, it works for you, but don't tell nobody else to do what you're doing. You know, um, because that's negative and that's promoting negativity. And just like you're on here telling me that my positive message should be kept to myself, I want you to have that same energy with someone with that negative message. Go on somebody's platform that's down talking these black men, talking about all niggas ain't shit, all these men is deadbeats with a bunch of kids running around. Get up there in their box and make sure you tell them that too. You should keep your opinion to yourself, ma'am, because ain't nobody asked for that. I want you to tell them that as well because Facts. that's the problem. That's why we're Facts. having these conversations because Facts. just as much as I scroll through TikTok, I see the same thing. Groups mm -hmm. and forums of women just dogging dudes and ain't nobody yeah. about saying you should keep your opinion to yourself because but you Shane was, have three apparently Shane was doesn't see minutes. any of that yeah yeah, yeah. Fact, that's, that's, my, that's next live, my next live bro i'm gonna do it listen i'm gonna tell y'all what i'm about to do matter of fact next time i go live i'm gonna do i'm gonna do exactly that i'm gonna come on here and i'm gonna be bashing men watch watch out Watch how that live is gonna go that day and i'm gonna post all of it too watch watch, watch how the black woman gonna react when i when i have a live just Bashing black men. Watch. Don't worry about it. And again, Just like watch. I said, I feel like as far as the whole accountability thing goes, there's also, uh, Noble said, um, acknowledgement needs to be had. Acknowledgement for who in order for, for solutions to be had for, for you, like for them to say in the comments and say, you know what, y'all are right. I, I made bad decisions in my life, then we can get to a solution because we know people are here, majority of the people are here for the mess, the drama, the 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 key keys and all that stuff. So we're honestly never going to get to a solution because like you said, I mean, the problems are it, it not, it, they are like acknowledged, like we talk about them. That's all we really talk about are the issues. Same on the other foot. I've never seen the lives of women do that, but I'm, I'm sure there are out there. So same for them too like but again like a lot of people like to say this is what we're talking about now so i'll say for this there there really are there's no solutions being talked about nobody's saying okay this is what you need to do but at the same time i feel like everything doesn't work for everybody and you can speak in general all you want to um you're going to always have people have pushback you're always going to have people in the comments talking crazy you're always going to have people that like y'all like to hit dogs that are going to holler that's always going to be the case so i don't i think we need to take out the the community aspect and and the trying to teach aspect and just say it for for what it really is it's entertainment it's debates people like to watch it people like to have their voices be heard people sometimes and it's not right that they do it but you know talk about people looks if they feel like they're trying to get you know too high on a pedestal like they did bina and People are going to do that. So I feel like let's just take the seriousness out of it 
and let it be for what it is. It's a debate. You speak your piece, I speak my piece, and we can't really have a conversation where it's like, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, instead of hearing the other person's side or the other person's story either. If that's what y'all want to do is have a, a, a genuine conversation. I feel like the, the women that are like, oh, I, I, I'm a, I guess the baby mamas who got four or five different baby daddies, as y'all like to put it, and their story are not their stories aren't being heard. There's no there's no root cause. You can't just say, yeah, a lot of this was her decision. But let's get to the root cause as to why she made those decisions. It's it's more than just it's more than just uh, that. Oh, I decided to sleep with somebody and decided to have their baby. Like it's it's mental is deeper than that. If we're going to take that route. But if not, I my opinion, personal opinion, just leave it for what it is. Leave it lighthearted. Everybody need to kind of stay out their feelings mm-hmm. and emotions. If people coming for you, like y'all say, if it don't apply, let it fly. If you know you don't look like this, like whatever they say you look like, and if you know you're happily married, okay, y'all miserable. Next. Like, uh, you y'all do can know that whatever solutions you want in the comments. Is, the solutions can only arise once a problem has been identified. You do know that, right? And Did we not identify? But how, I, 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 I'm serious. Identifying you issues? cannot... No, hold on. I'm listening. I'm, I'm telling you that you do understand that you cannot create, you cannot find a solution unless a problem has been identified. Is that right or wrong? Right. And have we not been identifying so then, them? No, just because I identify the issue and you're in the comments or you're anywhere screaming, that's not a problem. That's okay. Then that means you don't see that there's a problem. So how can we ever get to the solution? That's the part of the conversation that you're missing. If we're up here identifying the problem, and we're trying to get to the solution by telling you this is the problem. Before we can even get to the solution, there's 900 people screaming, that's not a problem. I can do what I want. I can live my, my life. I can do what so I want. So let me ask then Ivory a question. Let me ask so Ivory that, a question. So then before that, I but if that, if there with is that one person, there's just no, we never make it to the solution. Right, the but point. if, never make like it. you said, if one person is helped, that, that's all that matters. So what if there, there is that one person in the life that's not speaking, that's not speaking out, and and they're waiting for the solution. Y'all y'all give energy and 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 feed into these people that are in the comments that are being negative. Why not just say if you have the mindset of if one person can be helped, if I can help one person, then it's like okay, these are the issues I identified the problems, and now these are the solutions. So if we okay, so Ivory, let me ask you this. Let me let me Ivory, let me ask you this, and then we gotta move on to the next person because you've been on here for like forty minutes now. Oh, uh, Ivory, if 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 I had a live one day and I was like, hey, listen, all you all you women in here that you know got you know four or five baby daddies, um, you know, um, l- let's really let's really get deep down into like why you got four or five multiple baby daddies, or even if I just had a live saying, why do y'all think seventy percent of the 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 babies in a black community is born out of wedlock? Why do you think? You know, all these women having all these baby daddies and things of that nature. Do you think most do you think most of the black woman is really going to say that a lot of them are just being sexually irresponsible and they know better? They chose not to do better. Are you going to are you do you like be 100 percent honest or do you think they're going to put more of the onus and more of the blame on the men? Like, let's be all the way real. Uh, majority, you will get more women that will put the blame on the man. But you do have some who will tell their story and say, you know, yeah, I was wrong, but I feel like that's not given an opportunity. Like, there's no opportunity given to that. Because, again, oh, there was a, it, was, it, was your life, in the box. it was your life, uh, Noble, if I'm not mistaken, where, and, and this is a snowball effect. I will say this, because where it came, where a lot, I think where the vir- viralness came from was, I'm going to keep it real, from what I've seen, Rebel saying all single mo- mothers are for recreational use. That is, no, is, I went is viral that before an impression. That. Right. We've been okay. having a lot of videos, but you know yeah, I, I went viral though. before that one. But but yeah. that's why I said for me, that's what I said. Yeah. That went viral. Um but all single mothers are for recreational use. That's when I that's when I started seeing the the women come in really coming in going ham. And I feel like that was really like it's it's it set a tone and then certain dudes that get up here say certain things no boy i understand you don't you may not even agree with them they're just up here right 
And I don't honestly, I don't even see people really coming at Noble. I don't see that in the comments. People are coming at the people in the guest box. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like there are no opportunities for those single mothers to come up here because when they do, you have, I guess, the red pillars or the or the rebels of the people that are up mm -hmm. here that are just up here for entertainment, that are just up mm -hmm. here for for the banter and the back and forth. Mm hmm. So that's that's what I'm saying. There, that's what I'm saying. There's no opportunity. I haven't seen yet since things kind of, you know, calmed down. Now we're having actual, you know, having certain type of conversations. You should scroll back to the video where I did where I said black men that are um, are forced to raise babies that they didn't want or kidnap victims that got like thirty thousand views, and them women were <laughs> dragging me almost just as bad as they was last night. They did not like to hear that either. So this I'm, woman in the conversation and there was right a now, bunch. I like what you have to say. Yeah, it is, it is and, they were saying the, and they were saying the same things back then, and that was that was months before Rebel said what he said, and I mean months, 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 because I was in a different house back then. So that's why I mean, it's it's always been like this. This is the this is how it's always been. Even when the tone was different before Rebel said what he had said what he said, whenever the topic has came up, and they did not like the responses that were given. It's always been like that. So we can't really say Rebel started anything. That's just Rebel the nature of the beast. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to let y'all have it. Do what y'all want to do. This, You know, that's just my opinion. Y'all yeah, rock so out. Cause I'm a, I'll, I'll take my own advice and <coughs> I'll say what I said. I feel like everybody should let everybody rock out. But do y'all. All right. All right. Appreciate you. Have you have a good one. Be safe.